Hey guys, my name is Russian Badger, and I'm sick. And the beginning of my sicknesses, like the beginning stages, always sound like, "Give me a chicken sandwich, just a waffle fries for free, right now." And then the end of the end of my sicknesses always sound like I'm Squidward. Like right now, I'm in the Squidward stage because my my cold is on its decline. It's it's weird because I mean I would rather do a commentary in the chicken sandwich voice compared to the. Squidward, like I have some kind of nasal deficiency, like I'm living next to this guy named Spongebob who lives in a pineapple, but that's a different story. I, I don't know if all of you are familiar with Spongebob, maybe not. But I'd like to start off this commentary by saying, Say goodbye to your chopper, you chatty Cathy's. That's what you get for being a circle-strafing helicopter monster catfish, man. Wow. Actually, you know what, I think that's combining too many terms. That's really excessive, but... This is by far probably the most asinine, ridiculous, odd, weird, uncommon gameplay that you will probably ever see from me. And I think you would see certain moments from other people like this, like a moment in a game where it's like, wow, I can't believe that happened, but this game has so many of those. And pow, right in the kisser. Oh man, right in the sweet spot. I like that one, but it's just one of those gameplays where like I said, some people get moments where it's like, how did that happen? How, whoa, how did that happen? What happened there? I don't understand. But this gameplay is full, is filled with a ton of those. Just a ton of those. Just They happen so frequently, it's, it's, you know what? I'm actually going to stop. I'm not going to label it with some kind of adjective to describe it any further. I think I'm just going to let you watch the entire gameplay and you'll know exactly what I mean. Now... Just to describe the situation to you, I've been playing a lot more Conquest lately because, I mean, I just love Conquest now. Uh, there's something about it. I feel as if I can carry my team a little bit easier on Conquest compared to Rush. Maybe you might not agree with me, but that's my personal experience. And I couldn't exactly get this circle straight for here. He made me get out of my tank and go hide in the corner of this building here, despite the fact he left me alone after that. But I will have my sweet revenge in, in due time, so don't you worry. And the other thing, the other background knowledge that I wanted you to know is a few, it was, I believe it, I believe I played two or three games before this game in this lobby, and there was a guy in on my team, the previous game before this, and he literally said, Check me out, dog, I'm rolling on doves with black on black, uh, yay, yay, as soon as he got in a Russian tank. And that, I let that marinate in my brain, and I thought, okay, when you say black on black, from what my limited hip-hop knowledge is, that means you got black paint on black rims. Well, first of all, the only paint that default in a Russian tank is Russian camo, Russian woodland camo for most maps, and you can't be rolling on dubs, and you can't be rolling on black rims either, because you don't even have rims, you have treads, and boom! Did you, did you see that shot? That's... Oh yeah, and I just wanted to re-emphasize the whole shooting helicopters with tanks. That's not a fluke. I mean, this guy caught onto my my old my old trickery, and he decided to fly above my actual sight line with my with my tank man main cannon here. But I eventually get sniped by the tank. But a lot of the a lot of the helicopters got smart to how efficient I was as to shooting them down with tanks. And I can assure you that's not a fluke by any means. These these absolute Wesley snipe shots with the tanks against helicopters, I can actually do them very well. I've done them on other maps as well, and I think, in my personal opinion, it's the easiest way to take down a helicopter, for me at least, if I'm not near an AA gun. And, of course, to get robbed of that kill because he jumps out at the last second, but then again, I would do the same thing. And, I, actually, I do that same thing where you jump out just before your tank is about to explode and you feel like Tom Cruise. I do that later on in this gameplay as well. And I outsmart a guy. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, more construction in the middle of my commentary. Just perfect. Oh, check this out. You ready? Yeah, look at this right now. No scope repair. How does that feel? That's pretty awesome, right? I mean, I found that pretty cool at the time. And it's odd because I've never played with a team this bad that was actually sort of winning when I actually joined the game. And by sort of winning, I mean, we technically weren't winning, but... We were actually 100 tickets behind once I joined, and we had a double cap going in. I think we eventually got a triple cap, but we were very down on tickets, but we were up on flags once I joined. And 
Perfect. Perfect for my commentary. Just some, some drilling noise. Why don't you throw in a jackhammer? Just start jackhammering some concrete while you're at it. Just wonderful, but... This moment you really need to pay attention to, okay? What happened was... I absolutely failed at shooting that guy with the M16, and what eventually happened was... His buddy came all the way around here, so I'm gonna get his buddy and pay attention to the guy that shot the, the guy that shot me his name. I turn around, I heard him scream, I shoot him, I watch what happens. You ready? That's what you get. That is what you get right there. Just let let's just marinate in your brain what's happening right now. Just oh. That's so much better than a tea bag. How does it feel to get stuck in a wall with some kind of paralysis slash epilepsy at the same time? That's just wonderful, right? And check this out here, you ready, you ready, okay, okay. I shoot the tank once in the side, I go in for the drill, and then all of a sudden the guy jumps out, and then it's, good morning, welcome to the dentist, Carl, oh man. I don't know how he didn't see me. I, I have no clue how he did not visually identify me. I was running in front of his face with a repair tool, and he somehow did not acquire me in his line of sight. I don't know how that happened, but... He was, he was a moderate... moderate turning point in the game I believe somewhere around here we tie and then we we eventually gain the lead somewhere around here quickly and I mean that's definitely a significant there's something that I want to identify because we were losing a hundred tickets when I came in and say goodbye to your tail rotor catfish oh man that'll teach you to fly in a straight line and isn't it perfect that you hit the tail rotor isn't that so stereotypical like in movies, they just always happen to hit the tail rotors so that you flip around for 20 minutes while you have some kind of dramatic monologue and they have to hit the parachutes and you hit some kind of red button, it's like an emergency eject and it's it's not really consistent with helicopters, most are more so fighter jets, but I think you guys know what I mean. And here's what I was talking about, jumping out the last second. Okay, this guy knows that he's beat because I'm hitting him in his side, he's hitting me in the front and you always want to keep your front armor because it's a lot more dense and it's stronger he jumps out and I say oh I think not Mr. Tom Cruise I jump out I kill him and look at this how does it feel to have your cookies jacked and I know if I say you just got your cookies jacked and you guys I, I have to explain the reference to you other guy otherwise you guys are just gonna be left out in the cold well in elementary school we used to play around in this game of tag but then everybody hated tag in my elementary school so then we would all run around with famous Amos cookies in our hands and if you tag somebody you got their cookies also known as getting your cookies jacked and that's where it comes from yet again say goodbye to your chopper for the third time third time I believe it's third time but no no, no. was that no that's fourth time that's fourth time I got the circle strafer I got the snipe over the hill I got the I got the tail rotor and I got that guy that's already four. Oh man and here was kind of a nervy part because obviously my teammates are completely and they're basically complete and utter Carls. I thought that rocket came out of the tree for some reason. That rocket just came out of the heavens. I don't know what happened. I thought there was a guy behind me here and I was kind of paranoid so I started shooting. And eventually we played this little ring around the rosy game around this big large, I believe it's one of those windmill poles, concrete barrier. And I get one but I can't get the second guy. It's so sad. It's so sad. And eventually, my team sort of helps me camp, see, but they really are not very helpful in this later stages of the game. And there's even one part where I have to commit suicide to actually help out my team. And, I mean, I'll explain that when it comes around, but even here, how are we not capping B, or actually getting close to capping B, if there are that many guys at C? I mean, we're capping B right now. But I just thought that we should at least have one to two flags if there's even a few enemies over here. Because I believe the game started out with six players and then it moved it up to nine on nine. And you guys know about the recent server issues, but oh, say goodbye to your tank. It's just wonderful. And I didn't see that guy directly ahead of me. For some reason, I didn't see him. I just did not see him. He crept up like a, like a hill monster and took me out. What do you know? But then again, you know what? I'm going to spawn on my squad mate. And my squad mate is not even going to help me cap here. And I take the guy that killed me out, which is just wonderful. But yet again, it took us so long to cap C. We didn't cap B for some reason. I don't know why. And basically, I think the reason that we lost, not only because my team is full of absolute Carls, by far the worst team that I've ever played on, hands down. But look at this guy. 
Look at where his tank's going. His tank is virtually stationary here. He's not... It should literally be full steam ahead to B. We need a cap. We're already down 30 tickets, and the game's about to end. And he's sitting here. He's sitting here. So, I have nothing else better to do to shoot at this helicopter. And eventually we start losing C, and I think, you know what, if we lose C, we're going to have no chance at B. So I literally say... You were an awful player at this entire game, Carl. I'm not even going to stay in the tank with you. And I suicide to go help Cap, Cap C. And say goodbye to your chopper yet again. Too bad the guy jumped out. I was a little bit disappointed about that. But we eventually got C capped. I believe, yes, my, my squad mates, my two squad mates were the only two comp competent players. But really, even they were pretty awful. But... In this, in this end stage of the game, like I said, we lacked so much urgency, we were dawdling. I mean, obviously there were no vehicles at my disposal. I couldn't use a quad, I couldn't use one of those cars to, to drive to B and try to cap B. And even the guys in the helicopters will st were still a lot more concerned with strafing. This guy goes down for a few seconds here, but he's still strafing. And the guys in the helicopters were not using them effectively to drop off perhaps their gunner or perhaps hover above the objective and cap it that way that sometimes works if the entire area is vacated but we'd seriously just lacked urgency and finally we cap b but it's completely futile because i mean obviously the game's already been lost because we're down 42 tickets and they finally got it that oh maybe we might we might lose if we don't cap b or cap another flag other than c and that's it's too little too late i mean obviously we had to lose and i wanted to explain to you why we lost but i also wanted to upload it a loss because I wanted to kind of keep you guys on your toes as far as I don't always want to upload just flawless victory. Let me see, let me see you pawn a nub for 20 minutes and just bashing some Carl's face in with a knife 12 times. I want to see some more balanced gameplay for myself actually. And look at this. I'm pretty sure that every guy on my team was level 20 or lower. Everybody on their team was level 30 or higher. And I mean, excluding me of course, but it's just frustrating, and I want to thank you for putting up with this cold commentary, but until next time, Alfieder Zane and Bisbalt.